Let's talk about the Microsoft Exchange patch update, which last time you mentioned was on the same level as the Solar Winds uh, yes. fiasco. Exchange, exchange, exchange. Yes. A uh, quote I heard uh, in, over the last week is that if you haven't patched your Exchange servers yet, assume that you are compromised and start your disaster recovery plan now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Serious. Very serious. Uh, Krebs on Security has posted a timeline and uh, Others are posting information all the time. Uh, the exploit went from slow and stealthy to fast, and then very fast when the copycats joined in. There are now reports of victims who have multiple cybercrime groups embedded on their servers. And these cybercrime groups, of course, now have access to or ability to read any message, control the server, and even patch the exploit that they use to get in. Uh, according to an analysis from ESET, at least 10 different APT or advanced persistent threat groups are exploiting these exchange vulnerabilities. These are groups with names like Hafnium, Tick, Lucky Mouse, Calypso, WebSlick, and App41. Hmm. So if you have not patched your Microsoft Exchange server, and we're talking about on-prem here yes. uh, yet, so assume that you're you're vulnerable. Assume you've been exploited. It's possible you have more than one hacker group on your server, and some of them might have been nice enough to patch it, but they're still there. Uh, so definitely take a look at what's going on. And I think as you pointed out last week, that it's going to take what a year and a half, something like that, to get this fully taken care of. Largely because there's so many people infected by it that there isn't enough IT resources, external IT resources to help resolve that. Correct, yes. So uh, now that these, all these servers, uh, the report is you know, over 30,000 in the US, over 100,000 worldwide uh, have been exploited. They're now going on to stage two. So stage two begins with the exfiltration of data. Why? Because these are money motivated hacker groups. So what are they gonna do? they are going to either start blackmailing with the, the data that they've exfiltrated, or they're starting to install ransomware and then just blackmailing the victim. Hey, you want access to your exchange server and your email? Hey, yeah. Exchange server isn't just email. It also, it's calendaring and a whole Contacts bunch of things. And, yeah. <sighs> so don't run web servers naked on the internet. They right. should be protected by some form of uh, unified threat management firewall at a minimum, or more properly behind some form of a web application firewall or WAF. But again, uh, while these can stop out of the ordinary requests, these devices also need to be updated because that's the next update. Wow. And how do people know if they've been and what's the first step in finding out if they have been um, exploited? Microsoft and the various uh, cybersecurity departments have released a lot of information. Microsoft has published uh, scripts and, and uh, they're even updating their Defender antivirus to find compromise. So you can uh, very easily find the Microsoft blog and take a look at the uh, mitigation steps. And basically uh, there are things that they've said Look for this. You know, look for a file with a random name in this directory, and that'll be an indication that this stage of the exploit, at least, was attempted. Okay, and, and we'll include links uh, in the show notes, especially if you're watching on YouTube, uh, as well as if you're listening on our podcast.